Sorry about that. Um, I got cut off in the middle of this session. So in the middle of this reading, I got cut off because it said that my phone didn't have enough storage. <sighs> so I had to take care of that, delete some stuff, restart my phone, and now I have to continue because I wasn't done yet. So that's what I'm talking about. Like somebody's blocking me from doing this. It's really stupid. It's like, it's really dumb. But you know what? They didn't succeed because here I am recording this, finishing it, and I'm gonna upload it. And it's you're gonna see it. So whatever they tried, it's not working. So I'm gonna continue with this reading uh, before I get cut off again. And then seriously, before they do some other stupid shit. Yeah, before I get blocked again. So, um, I was talking about, um, yeah, the Nine of Swords. So, basically, if you want this to stop, if you want this to be over, um, being stressed out, not being able to sleep, um, being haunted, thinking about someone or something, you know, being bothered by something, having no peace, you're going to have to surrender. And that's by being the hangman. So, you're going to have to admit that you're not in control that God is in control. I mean, seriously, like you're gonna have to just admit that because there's no one else in control. You're not in control. The devil is in control, okay? God made the devil, so he's not in control. So the only one in control of this situation is God. So just surrender to him, submit to him, and just say, okay, fine. You're in control, you're more powerful, I'm um, just gonna, you know, submit to you because you're more powerful than I am. And whatever you want to do, just do it. Seriously, that's all you have to do. Just admit that you don't have control. And someone else has control over you. And if you, if you keep resisting that, you're gonna keep suffering. So you're gonna keep suffering if you keep resisting the truth. The truth is, you're not in control. You're not powerful. You think you are, but you're not. Compared to God, you don't have shit. <laughs> That's the truth. And a lot of people don't like that. They don't like hearing that. And I'm like, um, you might not like it, but that's the truth. You know? And when they realize that they're not in control, they have the power because everything is taken away from them. Like what people may think is bad stuff, bad luck, it's not. It's just everything's being taken away from you. So you have from like having everything to having nothing. That just shows you that you're not in control. So the sooner you submit, the sooner you surrender, the sooner you, you admit that you're not in control, someone else is, the sooner this thing is going to end. And then things will pick up again. But until that happens, if you keep resisting, then this is gonna continue. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. And um, judgment came out. Yeah, so basically uh, that's gonna come after this is all, all over. So after you die, because you're gonna die. I mean, I don't know who told you that you're not gonna die, but you're gonna die. <laughs> Someday. Maybe not now, maybe an hour from now, maybe a week from now, maybe a year from now, but someday you're gonna die. And you're gonna look back and yeah, you're gonna be dead. You're gonna look at your body <laughs> and then you're gonna find out the truth because you're a spirit and you're gonna look back at all the stuff that you did and didn't do, all the stuff that you said and didn't say, and you're gonna be judged for that. That's what's called judgment. So, you may think that you got away with stuff while you were alive. No. They're watching. <laughs> yeah, so all the stuff that you did that you weren't supposed to do, that's going to come back to you. Yep. So, that's going to come. Judgment is going to come. So, your track record is going to come up. And that's going to determine if you pass or not. And because they source came out to clarify, yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> that's the truth. 
And um, Four of Pentacles came out, holding back. And um, that was clarified by the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is being stuck. Yeah. So I'm thinking is that because you're stuck in a situation, like basically you're giving, but you're not getting back. You're giving, but you're not receiving. So basically you do all the giving and you're not getting anything back. So you do all the work and this person is not. So that's why you're holding back because you're being told what are you giving when you're not getting anything back? So hold back, stop giving. And then that person will realize, yeah, like you stop giving because they're not giving back. That's the consequence. And that's why you have to stop. So they know that if they're not, if they're not going to give back, then it's gonna stop. They have to know that because if you keep giving and they're not giving back, then that means that it's okay for you to be treated like that. Yeah, that's not okay. Um, the emperor came out, <laughs> and that's clarified. And then the other, the other emperor came out from the everyday witch tarot. So you have two emperors that came out, and that's clarified by ten of pentacles. So ten of pentacles is about legacy. Yeah, having a family, having friends, uh, being with the one that you want, being in love leaving something behind. Yeah, so it's basically what you wanna leave behind, generations, descendants, and all that. And basically what I'm getting is that you need to take back control by being the emperor. You need to fight for what you want. You cannot back down when you're being challenged. So if you want a legacy, you need to make it happen. And if someone tries to stop you, you need to you need to fight back until they back down, okay? So don't let anybody stop you from what you want, from what you, from what makes you happy. So that's why you need to be in the emperor energy. Because if you're not, then people will take advantage of you, and then you will be weak because of that, okay? That's what I'm getting. Um, I hope I helped you in some way, and um, I'm gonna upload this part of the video. And I will talk to you again soon.